I, um, I think we did, but let's re-record it anyway. Just in case. Uh, in addition to which, uh, might as well tell, since we're recording now, we might as well tell the audience that this is basically a not blind episode because we both played this and then I realized all too late that I didn't actually record the video. I just never turned it on. It was, it was special. Yeah. Um, that I was so sick. <laughs> um, so there'll actually be maybe a few parts that'll get spliced in mm -hmm. because me being that sick actually turned out to be really good for certain things. Mm -hmm. So, um, and uh, uh, it's no longer blind <laughs> in the sense that uh, I turned it on to check something. And, uh, cause I actually had to reboot, since the last time recorded and this time we recorded, um, I had some issues with my tablet driver, which, um, if any of you were frequent listeners, you know I'm an artist and I need my tablet. Uh, so the only way I knew to fix the tablet was to reboot the OS, the operating system, which means, uh, basically I ditched everything and just completely started from scratch. So I was... I had the save from the last game, I managed to rescue it, but I was checking to see <laughs> if it was still good, and if it was in the right spot, and if it actually made it over the way I thought it did, and I maybe clicked forward a few lines out of curiosity and ended up playing the whole game. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, and you got, that's very me, actually. <laughs> you got the Gerard ending, which is fine. We probably yes, aren't. I, I, I wanted to do the PBG because, like, um, like objectively, like I will say this objectively, PBG was the most interesting one to follow for me because um, you know, I, I, I don't think you ever find out why he's glaring at you unless you follow his storyline. Because I know I didn't find out. I actually did Gerard's, and then I did Satch's. So oh, you also... That's, that's all I've done so far. So, okay. um, so I've done Gerard's and Satch's, and uh, I will say... Well, no, I won't give you an impression of them yet. I'll wait till the end, and then maybe I'll kind of go over them. But, um... Yeah. Definitely, uh, Gerard was a good choice, because I didn't... <laughs> not yeah, really would be something I wanted to do to where... Myself. It's not only would you be reading to yourself, you would also be reading the narration. It yes. would just be you. Yes. For... And um, Gerard is um, <laughs> Gerard's is very Gerard and my centric. And I kind of thought because that was the first one I did that they were all going to be like that. But Satch's was actually, I mean, while it was focused on, uh, did I say my or did I say Hana? I think I said my. Okay, you said it was, my. It was. It was Hana and Gerard specific. Like, it was very focused on them. And then Satch's actually kind of had this separate plot line going on that was separate from their relationship. But it was, like, part of their relationship. I don't want to I don't want to do spoilers or anything, but... Um, so, I think it's kind of dependent on their personality. And, like, because, like, Gerard was kind of, like, lovey-dovey and, like, want to be around you all the time, whereas, like, Satch was kind of like, no, I'm a lone wolf and, you know, and I can do <laughs> this on my own and, you know, and all this stuff. And it was just sort of, like, a, it was a little bit more dramatic, I guess. So, but, yeah, Gerard's definitely would have been me talking to myself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so... But yeah, I purposely avoided PBG so that we could do it on the Let's Play and I wouldn't know what was going on, so. Yeah. I, I'm i still not certain if we'll do more uh, routes, but we're definitely going to do the PBG. That That's like, I mean. That's the for sure one, yeah. Yeah, and we, I, I, I really want to do the hidden block route. <laughs> yeah, it, like it'd be a it lot would of be fun. interesting. Um, I will say this: I liked Gerard's. It was it was over dramatic and sappy, but I liked it. 
Um, I didn't like Satch's as much. Uh, it was it was a little almost because it was a little more plot oriented instead of them oriented. Like I kind of wanted it to be more them oriented. I kind of wanted to see more of their relationship instead of this other subplot while they were being in a relationship. So, and I don't think saying they're in a relationship spoils it because. If you choose Duh. somebody, you automatically enter a kind of relationship with them. So, but so so I I really like Gerard. I was pretty I was pretty lukewarm on Satches. It could have been better. So okay, and so uh, I feel like this is fair stuff to get into. But uh, so our usual ten minutes of of uh, not doing might, the game yeah, is a little bit a little. more reasonable. <laughs> so, um, I, hopefully I won't be a manic mess this time recording <laughs> either. Well, so, we, we gotta go, because uh, I only have I only have an hour to record today, so if we want to get anything right. done, we gotta pedal to the metal. All right. So. It's all you. Okay. Uh, we did not do any kind of introduction. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah, that's right. This <laughs> is the Guacamole Gaming. I'm the Devil's Avocado... And, and I'm Maggie with Bovine Design. Hurrah! Okay, let's Yay! go. Yay! Okay. By the time I got through milling the milling students into the classroom, Mai was sitting at her desk, face down and completely still. I took my seat and twisted around to poke the dejected Mai-shaped heat. Hey! She didn't budge. Mai! Mai! I heard a muffled groan of despair. Despair. I'm a social disaster. <laughs> Me too, Mai. It's okay. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> not. I tried to sound comforting, but I was never good at this sort of thing. Mai finally lifted her head from her desk. You're full of shit and you know it. What's that? She motioned to the business card that was still in my hand. I set it in front of her. Maya praised it for a long minute with a blank face, as if I said a rare artifact in front of her that she didn't actually believe was real. Then her eyebrows pulled together. Get it together, eyebrows. <laughs> he gave you his number he did you deduce. <laughs> Sugar is offended on Maya's behalf. Sugar. Well, yeah, uh, sort of. I mean, not really. He said I should call him if I want him to teach me how to, like, model like him. It was embarrassing to even say, and the words felt awkward in my mouth. The moment I said them out loud, I wished I could grab them back and swallow them. <laughs> mm, words. <laughs> I expected Mai to give me a once-over before making an off-the-cuff comment about how I wasn't nearly pretty enough to be a model. But yeah. she didn't. He, like, totally wants to get with you. Her get with you. <laughs> Her tone was so matter-of-fact, I gave. What? What? No, he doesn't. Why would you yeah. say that? Okay, Hannah. I've taken enough sex ed classes. At least one. <laughs> to know when a guy... Fully wants you, and Jared like fully shaftily wants you. <laughs> Mortified, I snatched the business card back off her desk and shoved it into my jacket pocket, turning away. My cheeks felt like they were on fire. By now, the class was filled with students. They chattered amongst themselves, but the white noise of their conversation wasn't loud enough to drown my out. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see John and PBG seated at their desks at the back of the classroom. I'm talking serious grabby gropey hands in the back of Dad's Camaro here. You're going to make babies with pro Jared, Hannah. She's like little she's pro just, Jared babies. <laughs> she's just like too good. She's like too too okay with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I recently re-listened to uh, the audio that was left, but Thank I didn't you. watch it with the the thing, so I thought I was making bullshit up when I was saying glittery. 
<laughs> glittering Jerry babies. I thought that was my comment. See, I actually have the <clears throat> advantage of it's been a really long time since he recorded. So even though I've technically done this before, it's like I have such a bad memory. <laughs> this is basically new again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not. You're totally crazy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. They'll be shiny. Miss, Miss Shizuka, like some kind of angel, cleared her throat at the front of the class. I excelled gratefully and sunk down into my seat. When class finally ended, Mai and I headed for the cafeteria, the incident forgotten in her hurried attempt to explain Miss Shizuka's scandalous last relationship. Scandalous! She knows so much about Miss Shizuka. <laughs> Seriously. He spent all of his time trying to choose between her and some dead chick who only liked him because he looked like her ex-boyfriend. That's a reference to something. Yes, yeah, see, I was confused by this. This was our response last time. <laughs> and at best, now rethinking it, I think it might be a reference to Vertigo, the Hitchcock movie? Oh, really? I don't know. Like... I, I'm not certain. Uh, I've never actually seen Vertigo. There's a weird thing that basically, like, uh, Jimmy Stewart thinks he sees this girl that he likes die, like, fall out of a building type of thing. Um, and, but then he meets somebody that looks just like her and starts getting a relationship with her to try and figure out if it's actually her mm. and in the end it, it actually is her but he doesn't know why the death was faked and everything it's yeah. it's well it's Hitchcock <laughs> um that's the best I can figure out this I mean who does that your mom I don't know well, who does do that what character did this? <laughs> We'd like to know. It's an interesting reference. We got yes. our food and hesitated in the middle of the room, looking at the normal boots table. Oh, this is like right after they got in with the normal boots club at lunch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, you come back. <laughs> Neither of us wanted to go up and demand a seat, especially after wiggling our way in the day before. What if they changed their minds? But Satch, noticing us standing like lost lambs in the middle of the room, okay. waved us over. <laughs> uh, hey girl, uh, how was class? Oh, you know, normal? <laughs> Boots? <laughs> Satch nodded and turned away, having been in the middle of talking to Josh. That was awkward, and despite how familiarly he treated me, I still didn't know how to talk to him, or any of them. I looked across the table- oops. Sorry, I right-clicked and brought up the menu. I looked across the table and locked eyes with PBG, who stared at me like I was a baby German shepherd. Is that's how? See, I still can't figure would... out if that's a good or a bad thing. That sounds like. Why would? I want everyone to look right? at like me like I'm a baby German shepherd. Right, like an adult German shepherd, you might shepherd. have some like... fear of or like not know how to deal with because it, you know, they're guard dogs and they might eat you. A baby German shepherd, I would think, is always going to be adorable. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's a baby dog. <laughs> Most baby animals are adorable. Yeah, I mean, ba few baby skunks are probably some of the cutest animals in the entire oh, world. Baby that's, skunks. That's disgusting what they will do to you, so. Hey, hey, uh, uh, Editor Brad, put up a picture of baby skunk. It's so cute. Oh, look at it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I want one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> but it's wrong! <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh, right. uh, you! Uh, cookies! What? What? Oh, sick! Mm -hmm. The words. You are can't just remember his, what swelling. voice you were doing for him or what? Yeah, what voice? Oh, um, I don't even know. I was being inspired by the Dover Boys. I remember that. Which everyone should be because it's amazing. Um, I'm keeping that meme alive. 
I'm pretty sure that meme died almost as fast as it came along, and you're just like, nope, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm keeping it because it's public domain. I can shove clips of the Dover Boys in every Let's Play, and it's perfectly legal to make money on it. <laughs> Read your line. Uh, you brought us cookies. You're the best, Gerard. That's, I think that was actually pretty close. Paul sprang out of his chair and practically tackled Gerard. Whoa, calm down. There's more than enough cookies to go around. Gerard started passing the cookies around the table, but paused. Hmm? You... you're back again? <laughs> he looked at Maya and me. I tried to ignore the disappointment on his face. <laughs> well, here. Wow. He handed us each a cookie, then headed back across the cafeteria. I stared at the small chocolate chips melting in the warm cookie. Did he not want us here? But, but he was so nice yesterday. I didn't even want to eat the cookie. Not if he was going to be as two-faced as that. Uh... <laughs> hey! <laughs> what were you walking next time? What voice is that? As she... Short boy. <laughs> As she... Short boy! <laughs> <laughs> a sheepish Gerard stood next to a short, skinny boy who was holding his tray above his head. I'm sorry, I'll be more careful. Um, you... You're from Normal Boots. Wait, you're the guy who plays with itty-bitty kitties, aren't you? The boy Sne sneered. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to get in with a group like that? Mm -hmm. They're my friends. Playing with the stupid dolls. You're an embarrassment to like this mandom. Guy, this doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> 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 the kid's friends were hitting his shoulders, looking from Gerard to our table with panicked eyes. <laughs> I think they're fun. <laughs> I like what I like. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> the kid was let off by his friend. Gerard came back and sat down at the table. That was weird. <laughs> Gerard sat down and began happily munching on his cookie, looking for all the world like he didn't even care about what just happened. I scanned the cafeteria for the boy who hassled him and found him sitting alone at a table, head in his hands. His friends left him behind. What was that about? Oh, that? I used to get it all the time. I collect itty bitty kitty figurines. You know, that kid show with the five kittens who live in Kitten Town? They were yeah, originally the... supposed to have magic powers, but whatever. I collect their figurines. They're so cute. I've almost got them all. I'm only missing Princess Pumpernickel. She's the rarest. But why was that guy making fun of you? Doesn't it bother you? I was afraid of bringing up bad feelings, but Gerard just shook his head. It looks kind of weird, right? A teenage boy collecting toys meant for little girls? No weirder than a 29-year-old woman with four dolls, uh, f four shelves worth of dolls? But, uh, <laughs> for the record, Wait. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> yeah, but we have we can pretty well establish that you're weird. <laughs> so, like, that he, he not necessarily reached that benchmark. <laughs> For, uh, for, for the record, for anybody who doesn't know me, which is probably almost anybody watching this, uh, I collect Monster High and Ever After High dolls, plus a few outliers if I think they're cute or funny or pretty. Um, I have, well, I said four, but I actually, yeah, I'm, I'm up to five. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh... If you want, I, uh, Editor Brad will gladly, uh, show a picture of it. Uh, oh, the pictures of the shelves? I can take a couple, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have around 200 dolls, so me and, me and Gerard, me and Gerard get each other. <laughs> <laughs> but I like them, so I don't let it bother me. Sorry I didn't bring enough cookies the first time, Hana. I forgot that you were joining us again. And I, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I had to give him a dirty look. Sugar, stop. Okay. I bit my lip. See, Hana? He was being nice the whole time, and here you were, jumping to conclusions. Ah, so that makes sense now. I, that was kind of out of 
place, but uh, I'll repeat the sentiment that I had said previously. She's very capable at jumping to conclusions. Yes, and it only like, gets worse this. when she's actually like, yeah. <laughs> but but she can't jump to the conclusion that, hey, this boy that stares at me all day and like wants to be around me and is awkward around me, uh, what's his deal? It's almost like he doesn't like me. Well, I'll tell you this what? much. Um, the only way you <laughs> At can, least with- I'm pretty sure the only way you can get her full background story is to get every single option at the end. Um, because there was a piece of it in Satch's and there was a piece of it in Gerard's. So I huh. actually still don't know her full background story, but I know part of it and I know different parts from those. So, like, I think you huh. have to, and if we if we decide not, like, if by the time we get through with PBGs, we decide not to go any other routes, um, I will tell you what those parts are, and then you can just, you know, you guys can just skip it if you don't want spoilers. But, um, like, I can go ahead and tell you what you, those parts are so you know. But, um, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure the only way to get her full backstory is to do every single one. So. Hmm. Fascinating. Hey, you're cool. Um, oh, go ahead. Um, uh, actually, I think at this cookie line, we'll call this an episode, since this should be 20 minutes of actually playing the game. Cause, <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, so, thank you for joining us at Evil Guacamole Gaming. Once again, I am the Devil's Advocado, and I am joined by... Maggie! We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Farewell. Shut up, phone. Okay. <laughs> Xylophones. Yeah, it was my alarm to tell me to take my melatonin to fuck that shit and keep me up. <laughs> <laughs>